Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from AgriMedSoft Research Company and here I am to teach you how to use VLOOKUP from another sheet. It's so simple and easy, it's just like using VLOOKUP in the normal way. So um, as you can see in my introduction, just when you want to uh, select your range, you just need to go to that sheet where your range is placed and then select it and then return back to your function and do the other part. So let's jump into the example I have prepared for you and it's here. So as you can see, I have some students and their scores list here. I have like uh, a good list here. I have 80, 83 uh, students and their scores. So uh, here uh, I, I want to go to the sheet number two. And here, um, as you can see, I have some of these students' names. And what I want to do, and what I want to do is to have their scores here. Of course, I do not want to just pick any name and then go to the numbers and then here find the marks here and then get get back here and write them. So I want to use VLOOKUP. What I do is to first put an equal mark, just like any other function that you want to use in Excel and then go for writing VLOOKUP and when I find it, I just double click on that and then it wants me the lookup value. So my lookup value is the guy here. So I select it, I put a comma and then I go for table array. So for selecting my range or my table, I simply go to sheet number one I select the range. You can see my function is right here. It's in sheet number one from A2 to B83. I get back to sheet number two. And if it's changed for you also, you need to correct it. Then I put a comma and then it wants the column index number. So this column index number is that which column should this function um, find your number or the value or anything in. So here I want the score to be found, okay? So the column index for A is one and for B is two. Uh, a tip here is that VLOOKUP always starts from the leftmost of the table. So it starts from A. So if you have the range from like A to K, it doesn't start from K. It starts from A. Okay. It starts from A and goes to the right. So again, if you have the range from A to K, it also starts from A and goes from A to K, not reverse, okay? So that was just the tip. And column index for A here is one and for B is two. I want the score, the score in, is in the B column, so the index is two. So I go for the function and I simply write two here and then I put a comma. It asks me whether to um, find the approximate match or the exact match. Here I want the exact match and the code for it is false. I close the parenthesis and you can see that the, uh, the score for Michael here is 68. Now, if I want to have these numbers for all these guys here, I just need to copy this formula. But when I copy it, you just should pay attention that if I click on that, you can see that it, this range is actually moving as I am moving. So it was from A2 to B83 
and now it's from A3 to B84. Maybe here it's not making any mistakes, but if I go down and just continue to, con to copy this formula to more cells, it makes the mistakes because um, here A6 to B87 is here to B87. You can see that as I go down, maybe it, it cannot find the values. So because the range is changing, so it, it's just containing in the future, maybe it's just containing this blank area. So what I should do is to make them the absolute uh, reference, not the relative reference. So here, what I will do is to go here and here I click on F4 but because um, I am just recording and it, it doesn't have this compatibility with my recording app I need to put it manually so I put this dollar signs in here and then I made them absolute reference so when I copy them in here you can see that my range is not changing. It's from A2 to B83. So I just copy it to all my cells. And here I have the scores for my students to work with them. I can do it in any other sheet also. And I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video and bye.